Welcome to Roma. This city is so beautiful, but the first thing you're gonna notice here is the tourists. And it's mostly Italian tourists. But the second thing you're gonna notice is the beautiful architecture. And we're very excited. We just came, it's a later afternoon, so we're gonna see what we can see on our first night here. Take it easy, walk around, and the first stop is gonna be Piazza Navona. And we're gonna walk around, maybe hit up the Trevi Fountain, the Pantheon. We're very excited to be in this beautiful city. As Laura mentioned earlier, this place is just teeming with tourists. That includes us, of course, we are also the tourists here. But there are a few smaller streets if you walk through, it's nice and quiet and you still get the amazing architecture. We're just heading to the Pantheon right here in front of us and the crowds here are massive. So I don't know what it's going to be like if you guys ever come and visit anytime soon, but just be prepared for the number of people that are here. Crazy. It is a perfect 20 degrees Celsius afternoon here in Rome. We climbed up the Spanish steps and I did sweat a little bit, not gonna lie, because it is so sunny here. And the Spanish steps were beautiful. They connect the Piazza di Spagna, so the Spanish Square, and the Trinita de Monti Basilica. And this area is wide, plenty of tourists, of course. A lot of artists come here and I can't imagine why they wouldn't.
from our hotel, it took us less than a 10 minute train ride to enter a completely different country. It's the smallest country in the world and it's Vatican City. This is where the Pope lives. This is where St. Peter's tomb is. And we're gonna try our best to enter St. Peter's Basilica. It's a long line because it's free entry to get in. Jason's already lined up waiting for me. So we'll see if we can enter this beautiful basilica. If you wanted to check out Sistine Chapel where Michelangelo's famous ceiling painting is or the Vatican Museums and Gardens, there is a need for a reservation for tickets, but the Basilica is a free-for-all, so we'll see if we can get in. Wish us luck, you guys. At this point of the trip, we've definitely visited many basilicas, but this one definitely takes the cake. From the sheer size to the intricate designs, the basilica is beautiful, and we highly recommend you guys come and see it for yourselves. Now, we did opt out of going to the top of the dome, but if you guys did want to come over here, it is 10 euros to take the elevator up, or 8 euros if you want to walk the 320 steps. Now, that does get you an aerial view over St. Peter's Square, or you can actually walk an additional 231 steps to the very top of the dome. And that's actually where you're going to get the best view of Vatican City along with parts of Rome. When in Rome, you got to try Roman pizza. So that's what we're doing right now. And we love the fact that they overload the slices with toppings. We're really hungry right now, so we're really excited to stick it. After Roman pizza, you've got to try tiramisu because it started here in Italy and we stumbled upon this place by accident and it's a top rated spot in Rome. They've got the original flavor and a unique one, the pistachio. So we're excited to try what this tastes like. It's our final sunrise wake up, not only in Rome, but on this entire Europe trip. And we thought there was no better place to have it than at the iconic Colosseum. And we actually found this amazing photo spot right across from it on Via Nicola Salvi. Via Nicola Salvi is a long stretch of road along the northern side of the Colosseum. To get here is actually really simple. There are a ton of buses that run all over the city that stop at Colosseo Stop. Now when you guys get off here, look to the northern side and you'll find a set of stairs. You cannot miss it. Head up there and you'll find Via Nicola Salvi. Now when you guys come over here, there are a ton of photo spots running across this entire road. So be creative, have a lot of fun and share with us those photos that you guys get over here on our Instagram. We love to see them. Our entire trip here in Rome, we've been blessed with absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous weather with four days straight of blue skies and white wispy clouds. And one thing that we really liked here in Rome is the tall, top heavy trees that are called stone pines. They're really, really beautiful. They look like umbrellas or parasols. One thing we also loved here is the archeological ruins from the Romans. You don't really see this much anywhere else. It's kind of cool to see all the ancient history that they have here in the city. And then we're gonna grab some Italian dinner to end our trip here in Europe.
Bridge Street Garden was closing right as we got there. We didn't know that from October to February it only opened until 6 p.m. We were hoping to catch sunset there, but we did manage to walk down straight to the river and catch some pink clouds to end our evening over here. But right now we're super hungry, so we're gonna go grab our Italian dinner. Okay, we found this Italian restaurant right by Trevi Fountain. Their prices are really good. And I was craving some seafood spaghetti. So that's what I got. But Jason decided to get a full menu. It's called a tourist menu. So he's starting off with his pasta, the cannelloni. And it's gonna continue on. He's gonna have his meats, his salad, his fruit salad, his wine. And we're just gonna enjoy our dinner here. And hopefully we'll be stuffed by the end of it. 